when I was a kid, I, I wanted to be a commando. Like, I don't really remember wanting to do anything else. When I realized that there was that role that you could play in life, that's what I wanted to do. And, and a lot of my friends in the SEAL teams were the same way. That's what they wanted to do. And as soon as they figured out, like, oh, that's, that exists? Oh, I can do that? And I just have to sign this piece of paper and go do this stuff, and then that's what I'll be? Where does that come from? Well, I mean, that, that's a very good question. I mean, I would say it's temperamental. You know, people differ tremendously in their temperaments, and to think that there's a warrior temperament is a perfectly reasonable thing to think. I mean, there's been whole cultures, many, many cultures, who are devoted to fostering that warrior mentality, you know, where if you weren't like that, you were the outlier. I would say that's probably true of most human cultures across most of time. You know, we've been fortunate enough to live in relatively peaceful times, at least the vast majority of us, so the necessity for that like right at the edges of actual warfare is much less than it might be under other historical circumstances but but it's 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 a deep part of 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 many people's nature and so the question is what do you do with that Right, and I mean, one alternative potential potentially is criminal behavior, and you know the fact that so many people like watching movies about bad guys, you know, is an indication of how attractive that is to people. And I think the reason for that is is that, well, Nietzsche observed at one point that most of what people regard as morality is just cowardice, and what he meant by that was that people don't do bad things not because they're good but because they're afraid to do the bad things and then when they see people do the bad things they're actually really deeply attracted by that because it speaks to part of them that could go beyond the rules and that's actually a necessary part it's a really necessary part like you don't make men safe by making them weak in fact you, they're much more dangerous when they're weak because they'll stab you in the back when they get the chance or take advantage of you when you when they get the chance you make men safe let's say by making them strong and then by making sure that they're disciplined and so you know you've got people like you have got this let's say warrior mentality that's a part deep part of their temperament and then you have some choices about what you might do with that you might try to discipline it and bring it under voluntary control and integrate it into your character in which it then it can make you someone who's stalwart and indomitable and and who will move forward, you know, in the face of tremendous risk. And, well, that's the optimal, that's the optimal uh, pathway if you have that kind of temperament. I, and I, I think, like, it's the men that have the most, what would you call it? It's not aggressive exactly, but we'll, we'll leave it at that. Aggressive and fearless temperaments that can be the best men. But it's like having a very powerful dog. You better civil you better discipline it because otherwise it's going to be a monster